Hello everyone, I am Devashi Sharkar, has spent 27 years in the ceramic industry, research and academic institute. Continuing fundamental and industrial research leads to hundreds of peer-reviewed international publications and prototype development skills. Moreover, I have published four books including Fundamental Design of Steelmaking Refactories and Ceramic Processing Industrial Practices are helpful to understand the presented topic, designing and failure analysis of refractories, preferentially emphasis on the strategies for beginners. I hope this series of lectures may assist in understanding and better serve in both refractory and steel industries. You can find me at NIT Raukela and my contact email is dsharkar at the rate nitrkel.ac.in. These books are available on Willy and CRC Press sites or commonly available in Amazon.com. This lecture series will be available in YouTube through Keramic Research and Industrial Services at the rate Chris underscore Devashish. We can start with some classic examples of refractories for secondary steel making. A combination of knowledge may solve the objectives of the topic of interest. Let us consider a teeming ladle where several consumable refractories with different shapes and dimensions are required. It is pretty often that frequent refractory change may result of inconsistent performance and sometimes immature failure. Thus, high performance refractories with adequate design and failure analysis may solve this issue. Now why different shapes and how shall we fix it? Here we can concentrate on four classes of refractories like slag, metal, zone and bottom lining refractories, slide gate system in which consist of slight plates, different precast shapes, nozzles and etc. Then shroud, then purging plug. It is interesting to highlight that each refractory has define, different designing parameters, processing protocols and failure modes from the perspective of steel quality, slack chemistry and operational parameters. Eventually it can be fixed through combined knowledge of designing and failure analysis. To answer my previous question, we must follow a certain systematic path to understand the basic strategies which has been represented in this slide. Before initiating production and regular quality control, it is mandated to design the refractory for a particular zone of interest. Thus, we must focus on the following points to take care of the designing of refractories. So, these are shape and dimension, it can be fixed through finite element analysis and computational fluid dynamics, composition and properties, further it can be subdivided into six points, microstructure, while we are considering microstructure we have to think both on grain size and pore phases for both raw materials and finished products, physical properties in specific apparent porosity, bulk density and TCSD dimension. Fourth one 
mechanical properties, compressive strength, elastic modulus, cold modulus of rupture, thermal properties, thermal conductivity, coefficient of thermal expansion and thermal shock resistance, thermomechanical properties, refractiveness under load, hot modulus of rupture and creep. Next is heat transfer phenomena that it can be done some theoretical calculation in brief theoretical prediction and last one corrosion behavior or corrosion phenomena under static and dynamic condition. The successful refractory installation and steel making process may boost the performance of quality refractories. Thus, after processing of metal, it is essential to perform failure analysis through a combination of production and operation knowledge and essentially needs to follow these points. Visual inspection and description of failure situation, checkup installation process documentation that is standard operating procedure, operational parameter discrepancies if any, mechanical design analysis, size and reliability which can be synchronized from the design component and the used component, chemical design analysis, fundamentally corrosion behavior, microscopic and phase analysis after application or performing the refractories, correlation of properties with specification. Failure simulation by stress analysis, this can be done through FE and CFD. Data analysis and life prediction from previous one or two years data and it can be done through machine learning and cumulative report writing through combination of both design parameters and that failure parameters. Such a report can, can be communicated to the production department and subsequent forward to the R&D section for further improvement if required. And it is a continuous loop and when a product established for a particular application then we can finalize the product and with relevant specifications and SOP. However, everything depends on the administration and how they want to synchronize their vision and mission. Considering the above points, the lecture series has been divided into 12 sections. Among these, today's discussion can be considered as lecture 1, just initial background or introduction, followed by 11 lectures on brief about finite element analysis, basics of computational fluid dynamics, high temperature process fundamental aspects of sintering that eventually controls the microstructure and properties, mechanical properties, thermal properties, thermomechanical properties, heat transfer phenomena, corrosion phenomena, static and dynamic, some invisible facts behind failures. In, in this point, we have to discuss about some critical parameters, 
refractive parameters on refractive production as well as steel production that may have impact on the refractive performance. Failure simulation by FE and CFD this is can be initiated from standard product and the used product. And data, and data analysis and life prediction by machine learning. In last slide, I want to arise one question, why would one concentrate, concentrate on this lecture series? To answer this question, I have to discuss the benefit of stakeholders which can be summarized as follows. Point 1, knowledge enhancement of beginners who recently joined in refractory and steel industries. New horizon of research and development modalities for refractories with some basic knowledge of computer and some advanced computational knowledge which may facilitate to grow more interest in core sector. A perfect win-win situation for refractory and steel sectors where metallurgy, ceramic, mechanical, several professionals are involved prevention and prediction of disaster failure of refractories. Further here we need computational knowledge who has much more on interest on coding and programming. And last not least we can point out UG and PG scholars can initiate their startup as consultancy firm but it depends on the interest and cumulative knowledge. In brief, the cumulative time for all lectures is near to 180 minutes, 12 lectures, average time of each lecture is 15 minutes. In actual, this time is insufficient but one can contact me for further discussion. Thanks for watching and valuable time. If you adopt this content, put your comments to discuss further and make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presence.